Okay, so on to the Muscle Building 101 training video. So when training and spending time in the gym, there's a few things that you need to really take into account when you're looking to build more muscle. Um, one of them is training intensity. Now, we're gonna touch on this a little bit later, but you can build muscle by doing body weight exercises. You can build muscle by doing dumbbell exercises, barbell exercises. If done right, you can even build muscle using bands. Um, you know, it, it's not the tool, okay? It is what you do with it, okay? So if you don't have access to a full-fledged gym or you don't have access to certain pieces of equipment or machines, it's not the end of the world. You just do what you need to do and get it done and you just make sure that your workouts are intense, okay? That's, that's the key. So obviously for body weight exercise, a higher intensity workout would involve higher volume because you can do you know, maybe more push-ups than you can do with a heavy weight on a bench press or a chest press machine. So obviously use your head a little bit. It's a little bit of common sense that you gotta take into account, but um, really intensity is key when you're looking to build muscle mass. Now obviously some tools are better than others. You know, obviously you can do a 200 pound, pound bench press. Uh, it's gonna feel a lot different than doing uh, a band, you know, band chest press with 200 pounds, okay? So there are tools that are, that are better than others, but you, you do with what you have and uh, you just, just get the work done and make it pretty tough on yourself. As long as your form is good and uh, you're really focusing on the contraction of your muscles, then that's, that's really what's the, what's the most important. Okay, so intensity is number one. Number two, uh, set and rep ranges, okay? Some people claim you only need to do one set of high intensity exercise to build muscle. Some people claim that you need to do 12 to 16 sets per body part. I mean, there's so many different varying uh, theories out there. Here's my take. You have to figure out what percentage of your training is going to be dedicated to muscle mass. So. If you want to be a bodybuilder, that's probably like 90% of your training is going to be dedicated to muscle mass. If you are a mixed martial artist and you need flexibility and you need a lot of core strength and you need uh, a lot more movement-based training and you need, you know, obviously a different skill set than a bodybuilder because you're going to be performing and actually fighting, um, maybe muscle building isn't at the top of your priority list, but it's on there, okay? So you have to figure out what percentage of muscle building you need or you actually want uh, to incorporate in your own training. So for me, for a long time, I was fully into bodybuilding and that's all I did. I did bodybuilding and when it was time to lean out, I would walk on a treadmill or do the elliptical. I mean, that's all I did. Now that I'm getting older, I'm starting to see the importance of mobility. So I work in a little bit more mobility work. I'm actually gonna start doing yoga pretty soon, uh, which, which <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it helps with my mobility a little bit and, and gets rid of some nagging aches and pains that I have. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, you have to figure out where your priorities are, okay? Um, so that really depends ultimately on how many days per week you should dedicate to muscle building. Uh, what types of sets and rep ranges you should be doing, etc. So for the sake of this video, we will concentrate fully on muscle building uh, because that's when people talk about muscle building. A lot of times, that's their only goal. Uh, so we'll talk to we'll talk today about that. But you know what? In the toggle section, I'll give you examples of different types of athletes, and um, you know we'll, we'll go over we'll go over that. Uh, in, the, in the top sections below. But if you're looking to strictly muscle build, okay, this is what I would do, is you want to almost follow a bodybuilding split. Now, I'm not saying go into your, your latest muscle magazine and pull out a bodybuilding split from that because uh, a lot of times those, those muscle magazines, the volume is extremely, extremely high. And number one, it's gonna take you two hours to do the workout. And number two, a lot of the guys in the muscle magazines who are doing those workouts have a little bit of help. If you know what I mean. So, um, and I'm not talking like from other people. <laughs> uh, you know, they have, they have, uh, they recover a lot faster. All right. Um, steroids, if you don't know, what I, <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So, uh, so you have to follow a program that's going to be conducive to your goals. Um, so here's my recommendation to keep it very, very simple. I've gotten some of the best results myself. 
uh, in the past from doing a split similar to this. And I would do this three days a week. Uh, as long as you work hard, you only need three days. And when I work hard, I mean the intensity's gotta be through the roof super high, okay? So I will concentrate on chest and biceps on Monday, back and triceps on Wednesday, legs and shoulders on Friday. And I will do anywhere from, uh, you know, uh, five, nine, 12, about 15 sets per body part, and I will superset the two. So my first set will be a heavy set for uh, chest and biceps. So maybe uh, a super set of bench press and barbell curls. And then the next set would be about three or four sets of, uh, of an isolation movement, okay, which would be like chest flies, a single joint movement. Remember, isolation means single joint, compound means multiple joints. So a dumbbell fly, you're only really moving at your shoulders, you're squeezing your chest, uh, as opposed to a bench press where you are um, locking out and using your, your elbows and your, and your shoulders, okay? So the first movement is, is five sets, again, like a bench press and a curl. Um, heavier set, rep range of four to six. The next set would be a set of uh, four sets of eight to 12. Um, concentrate on really squeezing those muscles. And then the end of the workout, I usually focus on body weight or bands. So I'll do push-ups or dips from my chest and then band curls um, or uh, you know chin-ups from my biceps. Chin-ups are a great bicep builder, guys. Chin-ups are awesome. Um, not many people think of them as a bicep exercise, but once you turn those wrists in and you pull yourself up, I mean, you can feel your biceps squeeze just by doing that. Um, so doing it on the bar, pulling yourself up, totally different feel and really good for building muscle. So keep it simple, keep the intensity high. That's the important part. Um, focus on basic exercises, no one-legged squats on a BOSU ball while you are uh, you know, doing curls and juggling. And, and actually, uh, a friend of mine actually saw somebody do that at a gym, so <laughs> I didn't make that up. Um, but uh, so keep it simple, keep the intensity high, keep the exercises very basic. Um, the basics are what's gonna build the most muscle. The basics done very, very well are what's gonna build the most muscle. So don't worry about if you don't have fancy machines, don't worry about if you don't have uh, access to super duper heavy weights, it doesn't really matter. Um, if I have one piece of advice to give you to make moderately, moderately heavy weights feel heavier. Um, so let's say you can bench 100 pound dumbbells but you only have access to 50s or 60s at your house. One thing you can do is slow the reps down. So take the reps nice and slow. And as you come down, five, six seconds on the way down, right? Five, six seconds, boom, explode up. Five, six seconds on the way down, okay? Explode up, and that slow negative is really gonna tax those muscles, so you fall within that rep range of, uh, of you know, four to seven or, or five to eight. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys, but I would use similar tactics for your back and tricep day and for your legs and shoulders day. Very basic. I'll list all this stuff out. I'll write it out so you guys have an example of it and how I would work it. Uh, and that's it, all right? So check this video. Watch, watch this video as many times as you need to. Um, and then check the, the, uh, the text below for some, some tactics and sample exercises and, and routines and then jump to the next one, which is the nutrition video. All right, guys, see you in nutrition.